Hello everyone, this is Ashish. I am a developer advocate at Elastic and welcome to Elastic Bytes season five and episode three. So uh, today we're going to uh, see how you can integrate Elasticsearch with the LangChain and uh, how you can uh, how you can create a uh, create an integration with the Elasticsearch, how you can perform the search, how you can index a document uh, into Elasticsearch using the LangChain. So before the starting, uh, the bit about the LangChain. So LangChain is a framework to design the uh, the application, uh, uh, different kind of LLM application. So where you can club the diff multiple LLMs, you can chain uh, different kind of functionality like uh, 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 like vector stores. Uh, you can perform the rag. You can you can build the chatbot, uh, question answer capability. Uh, you can do the summarization without having exact knowledge of uh, you know the LLM uh, um, LLM implementations. So uh, yes, let's let's uh, uh, let's start with the discussion on a LangChain. So let's let's quickly go on an integration dot langchain dot com, and you can simply click on a vector stores. So once you will be on this page, you might see this the Elastic Vector Search is on a top. So uh, it's it's a top vector store. And today we're going to see uh, this integration, how you can integrate the elastic search with the LangChain for a, especially for a vector search and a vector store. Okay. So right now the elastic search uh, offer the three uh, integrations. So one is the elastic vector search. Uh, the another is the elastic search store. And the third one is elastic KNN search. It's a deprecated, but, uh, uh, still, I'm going to go through the go through the all three integration one by one, and uh, we will see the pros and cons for each and every integration and why it is a deprecated and why Elasticsearch Store is a recommended. So you will get all your answers. So you can simply click on this uh, integration, Elastic and Search, and you will get the all how to use it, how to use the the documentation link, etc. So uh, let's quickly go on my notebook so i have prepared this uh, just for the demo purpose i'm going to share this in a github link uh, so yes this is the something we we're going to initialize the uh, the package let's let's install the package langchain uh, yes it, we, we have uh, installed it and uh, let's import the packages and initialize the global variables uh, so, and after this, let's, let's try to index some of the documents, right? So this is the link I'm going to use as, as my data sets, the sample, sample data set. So you can have a look on this. So this is the workplace data. And uh, it's like uh, the policy, employee policy, vacation, uh, vacation policy, et cetera. So we, we will going to uh, do the all search indexing everything with the help of this data set, right? So let's go and this, this section will load the data from this particular URL. Now, in, in, now this, this section has been loaded in, in uh, workplace docs. In the second section, split documents into passage. Uh, we're going to use the character text splitter. Why? Because uh, my document, and probably if you are dealing with the uh, documents like a book or, uh, or any, any website which, which having a very huge data set, so uh, your one document contains the large set of data, large set of text. So you probably you need to break the the large data set into the smaller chunks. So for that you can you uh, you can use this uh, character text splitters, which is provided by the LangChain. You don't need to uh, write any business logic for that. So just just uh, divide into this specific chunk. You can provide the chunk size, the chunk over, overlap value according to your use case. Uh, once this is done, you can, with the help of the text splitter, you can divide uh, all chunks into the documents, right? The docs. The all document will be stored into the docs. Uh, once uh, in, in the next section, we're going to use the open AI embedding. Okay, we'll come to this later. Uh, okay, here I'm going to use the elastic KNN search uh, with the from underscore documents method. Uh, here I have to pass my all docs, which we have uh, which we have created here and uh, 
we have to specify the index name, the embedding. So here embedding, I'm going to use the open AI embeddings. Uh, just initialize with the help of this method. Uh, similarly, the ES uh, Elasticsearch Cloud username, password. Uh, if you are using the self-hosted Elasticsearch, feel free to uh, feel free to use those special here. And you have to define the dimension explicitly. So right now the open AI gives the 1536 vectors, right? Uh, so that's why I have to define here explicitly so that when, whenever I'm going to execute this uh, piece of code, uh, the from document is going to create index on my elastic search and with the with the dimension of 1536. So let's let's execute this. Okay, this is going to take a little time. Okay, yeah, it's done. Now let's quickly go on our uh, Kibana in a dev console and I'm going to search on byte. Yep, this is my index name and let me show you the mapping. Okay, the mapping has been created, a uh, vector type, dense vector, uh, dimension which we have uh, uh, specified 1536 index two and similarity is dot product. Now let's go here and my documents also has been indexed. So let's do some searching. Okay, now you can see my data is in a plain text and its respective vectors is here. Uh, similarly, oh, oops. You can check the another. There's another document, the the whole text. And if if you see this this uh, text is uh, divided into the small pieces, right? In in an individual document, and it's a respective vectors has been generated on the vector field. So this is the default field, uh, which uh, which you created which creates by from underscore documents. Definitely, you can give you uh, you can specify your own field as well. So right now, yes, we have ex successfully executed. We have indexed our documents. Now let's. It's time to do some searching. So yes, uh, um, this is the show result. This is the show result function. This is I just written for to parsing my output. Nothing else. I'm just going to run this. And here, uh, yes, let's perform some similarity or uh, KNN search. So this is my query work from home policy, and I'm just going to call this similarity underscore search method, where I'm going to pass the query as a plain text and the query vector as a, and for this query vector, I have to convert my this plain text into vector with the help of the embeddings. And this embeddings is representing the open AI embeddings, right? So I'm simply going to call this embedded underscore query and going to pass this plain text query here. So let's run this. Cool, I got result with the work from home policy. Uh, the purpose of the full-time work from home policy, you can see uh, to provide guidelines, et cetera, right? Uh, you can perform uh, more, let's say, uh, holiday policy and just, and I'm going to, okay. Now here I have specified the holiday policy, but I got the result like uh, this vacation policy will be reviewed periodically. Right. So you can perform the uh, KNN search and or, or a vector search with the help of this elastic KNN search. And uh, again, there are uh, another two integration, uh, which, which is the elastic vector search and elastic search store. They provide a bit advanced functionality and um, that uh, and we're going to see the implementation for both the integration into the next episodes. So if you have any question, feel free to comment it out. I would like I, I would happy to answer it. And that's it.